Turning now to your community focus, as we told you last week, the latest jobs report shows a surprising boost in hiring in the U.S. And here to talk with us about that and what we're seeing in terms of jobs locally is Matt Weldon, the director of the Rhode Island Department of Labor and Training. Matt, thanks so much for being here. Well, thanks for having me back. So last week we were reporting on that latest jobs report uh, that sort of gives us a snapshot across the country. Folks were pleasantly surprised. How are we doing here locally? So the latest data that we have available is from December. Mm -hmm. And in December, our unemployment rate went to 3.5%, so down a tenth of a point. Not a lot of movement. We've been hovering around the same place for some time now. Uh, we lost 100 jobs over the month, and again, that's almost ins insignificant. Mm -hmm. uh, we've recovered about 90.5% of the jobs that we lost during the pandemic. Two key industries, hospitality and healthcare, have both recovered 85% of the jobs that they lost. Others, construction and manufacturing, have more jobs now that, than they did pre-pandemic. Hmm. So hiring is happening. And you know, I talked to an employer today, a large employer, I won't tell you which one, but they told <laughs> me that they have more applicants now than they've had since before the pandemic. So that's a good thing. It's a good sign that the labor market is still performing fairly well in Rhode Island. Hmm. And sort of digging deeper into this, what exactly are these reports used for? What, what are you tracking and what kind of impact does it have? So we have a labor market information division, which is like a state version of the Federal Bureau of Labor Statistics. And we report out on five measures every month, and I'm here talking about them all the time. Mm -hmm. The unemployment rate. You know, that's one that's done the same way in every state. The federal government does it through the Bureau of Labor Statistics. We then add Rhode Island-based jobs info and Rhode Island unemployment claim info, and that's our number. It's the same methodology across the country. We can compare it to previous months or months any time in, in previous in history, and we can see how we're doing at any given point. We also track Rhode Island-based jobs, Rhode Island's labor force participation, the number of employed Rhode Islanders, and the number of unemployed Rhode Islanders. All it tells us is how the economy generally is performing when it comes to the labor market. We know it's been a very hot job market for mm -hmm. some time. It continues to be. So much so that I'm referring to it as a job hopper market mm -hmm. because people know that they have an assurance if I leave one, I can probably get another one. Yeah, absolutely. You know, we wanted to ask you, uh, the last time you were here, a lot of people were applying for seasonal unemployment. Um, and we heard from some folks who were having a hard time getting through once again. I know there was a, a huge influx in volume during the pandemic and you guys sort of rejiggered your systems. Why is sure. there still a delay sometimes? Well, d from November until the end of the year, we have our seasonal peak and that's seasonal unemployment claims and then school claims. We got very, very busy. Mm -hmm. And because of the anti-fraud measures we put into place, it was a little harder for some people to prove who they were, prove their identity, and, which we have to have those systems in place to protect the system. At the same time, I need to do a better job of serving people. So immediately uh, in January, when I realized we weren't doing it quickly enough, we put up a help form, which allowed people, instead of trying to call all day long and every day, ask for help. 1,230 people have asked for help. All but seven have been resolved as of today. Wow. 200 or so pending. Those are people that we've called at least once. In fact, 189 we called twice to try to get back to them, hmm. which is why I've said before, if you ask for help, let us help you. Please answer your phone. I know it's tough. People are busy. The point of all this is it's going to get better. We, we see the issue. We're working really hard to resolve it. And just quickly before we let you go, you mentioned fraud again. Obviously, that exploded during the pandemic. What's the latest on that? That's right. In fact, the latest numbers that we reported were to the uh, Auditor General's office and they were lower than the six months pre pre previously. That's because we're accounting for these claims all the time. So fraud is not happening like it did at one time. Uh, we have a lot of tools in place. What I can't do is allow those tools to prevent claimants from getting access. It's a really hard job. I'm happy to have it. I'm looking forward to the next four years, hopefully, yeah. of doing it well and getting better every month. All right, Rhode Island DLT Director Matt Weldon, thanks as always for your time. Thank you.